Egyptian emerald centipede, Scolopendra marsitans. This is a female that's laid eggs for me in the past. I can't remember if I got babies off her or if she ate them or not. But, uh, this is adult size for the species. They might be able to get a little bit bigger, but I haven't ever seen any that are past five inches that I can remember. Um, these are cool starter centipedes. <laughs> They're very docile, and this is very funny. Oop, I almost lost her that time. Uh, they are not that inclined to bite as long as the temperatures are between or under maybe 80 or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the higher the temperature, the more likely the centipede is to bite you. Um, generally. Definitely, Scolopendra morsitans is definitely one of my favorite species because it's so widely spread in its distribution. It's in Africa, and in the Philippines, and Asia, and just all over. It or Scolopendra subspinites is one of the most, or are the most widely distributed species in the world, I think. I will put her back now. She seems to be wanting to clean herself off. Not moving around too much. Yeah. Um, they have an interesting range of colors. I have school pender more stands that are. Black and white with black heads, black and white with red heads, and all different colors. Better put your back before I drop her. Come on, go home. <laughs> Scroll of Pendra Morris Dan's Egyptian Emerald Centipede.